In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take your playlists out of Spotify and put them into Tidal and SoundCloud Go Plus. And the reason that you're very likely to be wanting to do this and here watching this video is that DJ, the app from Algorithm, is not gonna be working for very much longer with Spotify, which has been in there for years. So many people use DJ as either on their iPad or on their Mac, like I'm doing here, as quite often a second DJ app behind one of their big first choices like Traxxer or Serato or whatever, because it's got Spotify in it. And just, it's just fun to DJ with Spotify, right? So for a lot of people, Spotify being taken away from the DJ app is not a good thing but there is light at the end of that tunnel. And that's what we're talking about in this video. I'm gonna show you how to take all your playlists out of Spotify and put them into one of the two services which are supported by the DJ app going forward. 1st of July, 2020 is when it's all gonna stop. So before we do that, I'd just like to ask you, if you find this useful, please do subscribe and hit the notification icon as well if you're on YouTube and hit the show posts first icon if you're subscribing over on Facebook so that you see new videos like this as and when we make them. All right then, let's get started. So inside the DJ app, here's DJ, and here is my playlists in Spotify, just some sample playlists that we have here. And I'm gonna show you how to get these out because this little green Spotify tab is no longer gonna be there for very much longer. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is use one of the two services which are recommended by algorithm themselves to get your playlist from one to the other. Now they're called Tune My Music and Sound Is, I think that's how you pronounce it. And the Tune My Music integration is particularly simple. So while these two services will both work and they are pretty good, they're like, they let you take your playlist out of a lot of different things like Amazon Music or Apple Music or Deezer uh, and put them into something else like SoundCloud Go or Tidal, any direction, any service. They're really good, both of them. but. Algorithm is uh, particularly kind of in bed with Tune My Music and it's got two very simple links that you can use. So for the, for the purposes of this, I'm gonna use that service, but just bear in mind that you can use two services. Before we get going, it's worth knowing, in fact, it's, it's imperative that you know you have to have a paid for subscription to Tidal or SoundCloud Go Plus. There are various tiers and there's various pros and cons of both services. For instance, in SoundCloud, you can analyze your library, which is an awesome thing with a streaming service that you can do with DJ that you can't do in Tidal. But on Tidal, you can get hi-fi music and you can also play videos, uh, which is something that is new, right, for streaming. So you're gonna wanna weigh these things up. And there's an article on Digital DJ Tips where we look into a little bit more detail about that. I've linked to that underneath. But once you've chosen a service and you've got a subscription, using one of these transfer utilities, and I'm gonna use Tune My Music, is really simple. So let's have a look at how to do it. So here is the page that's been put up by Algorithm to show you how to do it with Tidal. Let's do Tidal first. So here's a plus. You can get Tidal for three months for free if you haven't used it before by filling in this section here. Once you've got yourself a Tidal subscription, you move to point number two. Let's click in here and see what happens. So this is on the Tune My Music website and it's saying, let's start. So it's asking me to sign in with my Spotify account. I'm gonna do that now. The reason it does that is it needs to be able to load your playlist, so it needs your Spotify account to do it. And here's our sample playlist from the Digital DJ Tips uh, test account. So we now choose the playlist that we want to transfer to Tidal. I'm gonna click all of them. There's this tick box here, so let's tick the lot. Now it's gonna to wanna to log into my Tidal account, and the system will start to transfer the playlist. And you can see that it's looking at the tracks and checking whether those tracks are actually there. And assuming that they are, it's gonna have no problem moving them. There we go, it's just completed them. I did shorten that sequence slightly. Now you'll see that there are some missing tracks. You see one missing there, two missing there, a couple missing. So there's a handful of tracks missing. You can actually look at the list. You can even just, just show the missing tracks if you want. You can see what it is that hasn't come across. It's always gonna be the case in our experience experimenting with this stuff but most of our tracks, the vast majority, have got across there. So over in DJ Pro, here are my playlists, as previously seen, and indeed at the moment, as still in Spotify. So doing it with SoundCloud is very similar. Click on the link, hit the trial if you want it, then hit transfer, it's gonna show you your 
Spotify, ask for your Spotify account, I'm already logged into mine. Here's my playlist again, just for the sake of uh, shortening the sequence, I'll just pick one playlist. Let's pick a short one with just a few songs in it. There's one with a couple of songs in it. That one there, 20 odd songs. Okay, transfer to SoundCloud. Gonna wanna sign into SoundCloud again, so let's do that. And off it goes, very similar process. And it's getting to the end of its run now, and there we go, all done. So back to the DJ app in SoundCloud. And there is my list as it was in Spotify. So let us know how you get on with it. If you've got any questions about this, please ask them underneath me or my team. We'll get to you. And do read the article I've linked to underneath, which has got more background and a little bit more information here. And also we've put the link to the algorithm website where you'll find the links I just used to show you that. Get good, get out there and make the moments. Stay in and make the moments, I would say, recording this in the COVID-19 times. But whenever you're watching this, I hope that's been useful to you and we'll see you again very soon.